Hello everyone, once again welcome to this channel where we do tutorials on graphic design. It's been maybe five days I've not posted a video on this channel but today I'm going to do something new, something that I was asked by a friend, a subscriber to this channel. Uh, her name is Naima Abdiohab. She said she was asking about skin retouching. How do you do skin retouching? How do you do those kind of professional skin retouching using Photoshop and that's what you're going to do today. I will try to make this tutorial very short and precise so that we do not get to waste too much time. So let's get on to it. So as usual, we go to Photoshop and we try to use images that are short on raw, images that have that kind of dynamic range as I said in my previous tutorials because those are the types of images that will do the magic here for us. So as a beginner in photography, try to do your pictures in raw because those are the best. So today I wanted to use an image that is having contrasting colors so um, I will choose an image that I took of this lady here and then I'll just do color correction and then I'll do the image uh, the skin retouching thing yeah so so I have this picture I think I this one is nice so I, I will go with this one it's a nice well shot picture just a medium shot angle let's open it with Photoshop it will open in camera row as you can see you can now manipulate your 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 colors here so the colors the lighting and all those kind of things so what I know what I first do is I try to go with shortcuts I go to on the edit option I take the automatic one and then it does a lot of automatic adjustments then now I start to adjust it to make it suit by going to the shadows and then expanding the shadows and then reducing the highlights unfortunately it did something on the exposure and I normally don't like touching the exposure so I will just do it back to something okay, something there then I will expand I will increase the depending on the image you're using for me I'm going to make it a little bit bright a little bit bright so I'm increasing the whites just a little bit and then the blacks I'm going to reduce the blacks I'm going to make it a little bit more dark and the blacks so I'll come to the color mix saturation I'm going to enhance the red color and then I'll reduce the skin tone a little bit, the oranges. I reduce it to make it even more brighter, the saturation that is. And then we have the greens in the background. I think I should increase the greens also. Should I reduce? Ah, reduction is better. Then I'll come to the luminance. I will increase the tones, uh, not that bright somehow. There, we don't want to make her look so fake <laughs> so the reds just a little bit and then the um, our greens darken them a little bit yeah so then I will open the, the image after opening it it will take me to now the Photoshop part where we do the other things so um, to just as a sidebar I'm using uh, Photoshop 2021 so if you have this then you'll have this kind of option select the image I go to filters and then I go to neural fi filters neural filters it will give me an option to do automatic softening of the skin so it the AI automatically identifies the skin as you can see there is a rectangle that is around the face it has already identified the face of the person 
So then I just come to the skin smoothing. I do this on, make it on. It will do that thing for it and then it has already changed. So when you see that there are some changes, slight changes on the face with it on, so it has smoothened the face. So I just click OK, and then it will open. So I clicked it OK on a new layer, then that's well, that's why you have a new layer. As you can see here, there's a new layer. As you can see, there's a new layer here. Mm. Then after that, we I select both the layers, just click merge the two layers to be one. And then there is a very nice uh, skin retouching action that I bought from Envato. And then I installed it on my action sections. You can see it's here already. So I'll come to the effect. That is the best that I use. I can link. Just check on the description below. You'll find that uh, particular specific retouch action that you can go and as well buy it. So the effect, I just go to the effect and then I click the play button on the action and then it does the rest for me. You can see the difference from this to this. And this is how I do uh, skin retouching for pictures that I do. And they are, I, think I, look, I think they look so good. If you find that you've done this kind of images and they don't look that beautiful, you can as well come to this. Uh, options here and adjust. You can adjust the levels, the curves, exposure, vibrance, hue, and saturation. Then you can do the photo filter as well. So you can come here, like for example, you can change the color to something cool. And you'll see that it's changing. It's actually changing the image. But as for me, I think this one is good for me. It is perfect. Uh, and as you can see, the image is very good, beautifully taken with some blurs in the background and some focus on the face. It looks good. And that's it for this particular kind of video. I'll be doing this more of these kind of videos on skin retouching in uh, future videos, inshallah. But for today, I think we should stop by here. Um, till we meet again. <laughs>